Hey folks, welcome to third part of the React Native Messenger application demonstration video series. In today's episode, I'm going to explain you about the home screen of our application. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the demonstration. As you can see, I already got my AVD booted up like this. So this is the user interface of our home screen. On top of this user interface, you could see this button here. We could access the user profile updating page by clicking on that. Then users are able to search people who are using this app using this search pane here. Then this section shows users who are signed up to this platform. Then this part shows profile pictures of users. Then this part shows the name of that user. Then this part shows the last message of that conversation. Then this part shows sent or received time of the last message. Then this part shows are there any unread messages from that user. As you could see there's a single message unread. So let's open this to see what happens. As you could see now it shows the conversation with that user. So now let's go back to see how many unread messages are there. Alright now we are back on our home screen. As you could see the number of unread messages had turned into zero. Which means our application has updated it correctly. And that's all about the user interface. Let's get into the code inside of it. Okay, now we are on VS Code and you could see our homepage.js file like this. As you could see from the top of this JS document, I am importing various React hooks like this. I have imported the async storage hook from here like this. Then I have imported these two third party installed React hooks, fontawesome and fontawesome5. Inside this home function, I am setting up these two constants, user search text and user chat items. Then I am defining their use states like this. Then here is an asynchronous function called load chatting people list. As you could see inside brackets of this async function, we are getting search text like this. Then inside this asynchronous function load chatting people list, we are retrieving details of the logged in user from the async storage of the device. Then we are appending JSON encoded logged in users details and search text into this form data. Then from the bottom of this async function, we are sending our request to the PHP side using the post method like this. Then these codes are setting receiving result from the PHP side to user chat items constant. When calling the load chatting people list function, we are calling it inside another function and we are using a use effect to stop sending unlimited amount of requests to the PHP side. We are actually using this to prevent any possible crashes of the application. Then inside this UIJS constant, you can see the design of our UI components. Then this item UI function is created in the section which shows other users who are signed up to this chat application. Then inside this UIJS constant you can see the design of our UI components. Then finally I've done the stylizing part of our UI like this. Alright now let's get into the PHP side. Alright, as you can see this is the load users.php file. From top of this PHP file, we are getting JSON encoded details of the logged in user. Then we are decoding those JSON encoded details. Then from here we are searching our database for users who are not the logged in user. And with a name that goes a bit similar to the search text.
then from here we are creating the array of our response like this. These codes are inserting all needed information into the array. When inserting data into the array, we are calculating the number of 100 messages too. After all of that, we are JSON encoding our created response array. And finally, we are echoing it like this. So that's all for today's episode, folks. See you in the next video. Bye.